Hey everyone, welcome back to My Candid World, and I am glad to be filming another episode of my skincare series. So, um, yeah, as you can see, we're having a tiny bit of a breakout, and I think that's just because I was so tired last night. I went to bed at like 1 or 2 a.m., and I did not have the time to do my skincare routine, but for it to do such a dramatic effect, it might be something else maybe because i was sweating a lot and the sweat was on my face for a bit but yeah we got like three good shiners over there um it's been a while since i've done an update i still have not finished my nighttime cleanser the clean and clear one and i'm trying to hurry and finish it so i can switch to the penoxyl benzoyl peroxide foaming wash and um let's see what else i'm also getting a is it a cerave no it's a, it's either a cerave or a, a cetaphil um, 50 spf sunscreen and moisturizer and that will replace my finishing morning um moisturizer and then after that i need to work on also getting a nighttime moisturizer although that won't be finished for quite a while i think um i got another spotting treatment well it's not the second treatment i have isn't really a spotting treatment it's just an overall all over your face to like reduce inflammation and redness and you know shoo away bacteria um in breakout areas i'm trying to you know just go with it as the time goes and see how in the long run this will affect my face because I believe you have to really keep going at a skincare routine and slowly adding in stuff so that you can tell what's working and what's not working. And I feel like the um, CeraVe wash that I am using, the Renewing Salicylic Cleanser, is doing work because when I do use it, my face does feel clean. Although some people say that um, when they use it, they don't really feel like it's doing much. And it is for normal skin. So even though I have combination oily skin, it happens to be working quite well. Um, on top of that, my morning routine is basically still the same, very simple. After I put that on, I put on my Clean and Clear Spotting Treatment, which um, I'm thinking of switching this out with something else. I might do a Niacinamide and Zinc one, although I'm not sure how that will work with my, my BHA and AHA um, cleansers, but I do do that once a week, so I'm hoping that when I do switch to the niacinamide and zinc um, serum from The Ordinary that it will work okay because some people have said that it can't combine well with the AHA and BHA treatments. And so after that spotting treatment, same old hydrating gel uh, moisturizer. It's oil free because my face already is oily and it does have a bit of fragrance but it goes onto my face really nicely and it just seeps into the skin really easily so that's why I've been using it so far. Um, you know I'm all about cheap and affordable but effective skincare so most of the products I do use are drugstore products but it's because of the reviews and stuff that I've heard from them that I try them out so um, yeah that's basically that um, still going with the same nighttime routine of once a week I'm using the 30% AHA exfoliating treatment and then after a full day and night I use the 5% lactic acid and hyaluronic acid um, exfoliator which can just be applied every day every night to the face and I'm seeing pretty good results even though there's a breakout going on there right now the acne scars that were there previously are fading away pretty nicely um, I need to I am having a little problem with like doing my skincare routines on time because often I'm doing my morning skincare routines at like 12 or 1 or 2 or whatever time it is in the afternoon instead of in the morning so I'm trying to get back onto that and be more consistent with that um, also trying to figure out you know like what else do you guys want to see me talk about besides my daily updates and skincare updates like would you like to see me do reviews on items would you like to know about my past experiences with items i am you know uh moving on from the neutrogena 
cleanser I had before and that's because a youtuber that I am subscribed to skincare by Hiram had done a review on Neutrogena and clean and clear and I noticed that you know the products that they have they aren't really the best I could get and I could get other products around the same price range price range that will be much more effective so that convinced me to switch and it's just about you know slowly gaining the money and then switching to these products over time but if you guys do want to aid me in my skincare journey and help me get these products faster which i would really appreciate my cash app is always in the description box below um, you can also just buy some of my items. I did recently relaunch and I'm now on iridescentbychelseahay.com. We moved on from iridescentbychelseahay.thecartel.com, which was, you know, a little word vomit. And I'm glad that I switched uh, the website. You know, I worked on it myself. I created it myself, so I'm very proud of it. I believe we have some running discounts going on right now seeing as the website is uh, newly launched so you guys should definitely check it out in the description box below and besides that I launched my poetry book my candid words the ebook and paperback will be released on July 1st you can pre-order them now on Amazon by simply typing in Chelsea Hay or my candid words but i will include a link in the description box below and try to include it um on the side so that while i'm talking it'll pop up and you can just easily click on it uh the ebook is 9.99 and the paperback is 14.99 and this is a project that i have been working on for i'd say about five years so i'm really proud because there are some social justice issues talked in it there are just so many different things talked about in it and few of them are not like socially social justice related you know there's stuff about police brutality about sexual assault about you know just cultural appropriation and the struggles of being in a private school and being in a predominantly white institution and so if you guys are interested in those kind of topics then you should definitely check out the book um, it was definitely been a little bit of a frustrating process because trying to format it and upload it to Amazon took a while. I wanted to release it from like March, but then the pandemic happened. And when I started working on releasing it in June, it took a while because Amazon is very picky and I was not going to roll out something that I was not happy with. So that definitely took a lot longer than it should and I'm definitely using this experience to learn and try to improve so that the next time I release a book or poetry or whatever it is because I will be continuously releasing stuff I have so much stuff that I've started writing and that are drafted that I want to share and show to the public so make sure you guys definitely tune into that and you know, I, I don't know if you guys are aware, but the sales from anything you buy from me, they help a lot. Um, they go towards so many different things. Part of the money goes to like college and saving up for college. The other part goes into self-care, you know, my skincare products, hair care products, clothing, and just any other essentials that I need because since I am a teenager, I am having to be more self-dependent and I'm relying on my business and my subscribers to fund me and my life. You know, I'm not a very expensive person. I don't buy very expensive items, but I do still need, you know, to earn a consistent amount of income to be able to sustain myself. So I guess besides that, the money also goes into producing more videos, more high quality videos with better equipment and expanding my different efforts, you know, going into expanding my social media, expanding with my writing and my books. Um, just practically anything that you can imagine you would need money for that's what like this money goes to so I'm uh, my products are almost sold out and I'm just waiting for them to sell out I'm just waiting for them to sell out so that I can 
release new products that you guys want and you guys want to see because when I first launched the line I wasn't really sure I thought that okay people are gonna want calculators and keychains and pop sockets and the pop sockets finished very quickly but it definitely took the calculators and keychains a little longer to get sold out so I'm definitely hoping that um, with you guys will let me know what kind of products you want to see so that I can be sure to only release stuff that you guys want so that you will want to buy it I don't want to give you items that you don't want or need so use the description not the description the comment section below and let me know your thoughts and if you're new here please 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 hit that subscribe button and the notification bell button so that you're notified every time I upload. I try to upload weekly or bi-weekly and um, I'm definitely in the process of kind of revamping and thinking, what do I wanna do with this channel in the future? And I definitely wanna talk more about topics that are interested in that I'm interested in and you're interested in so that you guys can get to know me. You know, I want to make sure that the stuff that I'm talking about that it's you guys are the audience who wants to hear that but you know over everything else I want this to be something that we all enjoy watching and doing and participating in so oh my god I think there's like um I how have I forgotten the name a blind pimple or a blackhead forming right here and what do you guys think of my hair? My mother did it as always. You should definitely follow me on social media at Chelsea Hay because you would have already seen this style. And I did a little photo shoot for my book. It was really fun. So make sure you guys just look into the description box and check out all of the various links that I have there if you want to find a way to support me so that I can continue producing more videos and content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.